Hello and thanks for tuning in to Me and My Golf. We're your coaches, Piers and Andy, and it's the Impact Show. Andy, what are we talking about today? Right, today we're going to be showing you guys how to hit the golf ball dead straight. You may want to watch this one. Let's take charge of your game. So as you may know by now, the theme for Me and My Golf for December is swing faults. Now we've all got them, <laughs> we all want to get rid of them, so why don't you check out the rest of the content that we're creating. Make sure you go to the website as well, loads of great content on fixing swing faults this year, including the shot fixer, and also we've got some fantastic giveaways. So lots going on, as always, you know, in the lead up to Christmas. Now Andy, hitting the golf ball dead straight. Should It'd be nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? It's actually a very nice thing to think about, but it's quite hard to do, isn't it? So what we're sort of saying is about straight is absolutely good enough, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, I think Jack Nicholas said if you hit it straight, it's a, you know, it's a miracle. But look, <laughs> if we can get was it... Was he talking to you? It was, I think he was talking to me, yeah. <laughs> if you can get the golf ball about straight, so it hasn't got too much curvature on the golf ball, then that's really what a lot of golfers are trying to achieve. So, yeah. you know, if you are looking to neutralise your ball flight and hit it a little bit straighter and get it to target, then certainly looking to get it about straight is a good thing to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is take you through a three-step process in how you can, first of all, step one is going to be understanding what it requires to hit yep. the ball straight. Step two is how to analyze, and then step three is maybe on how to fix some swing faults, which could be causing you to have that problem. So first of all, Andy, step one. What do we need to do what to do the golf ball? Do? Okay. Please tell me I am listening more than I've ever listened. Well, look, we're going to assume that you are striking the golf ball at the center because where you strike the golf ball on the face does influence that. But we're going to skip that part and say that you are striking the ball at the center. Two main reasons you um, that influence the ball flight. We have the sorry, we have the club face at impact. Okay. We also have the club path, so the direction really that you are swinging the golf club. Now, if you think about this, the club face is mainly responsible, Pierce, for the starting direction. Mm -hmm. So if your ball, your ball starts right of target, the face is pointing right of target at impact. And if it's starting left, the, uh, the club face is pointing left at impact. Now, there's a saying in the golf industry, mm -hmm. the face sends it mm -hmm. and the path bends it. So if you think about it that way, wherever the face points, it starts, yeah. and wherever the path is, is gonna give you that curvature of the golf ball. Yeah. So a face point that points right with a path that's left, is going to produce a ball that starts right and curves more to the right. Hope that makes sense. We're going through this fairly fast. Yes. Um, so look, if we can get the club face and the path to match, that's going to produce a straight shot. So look, you can have three types of path. You can have a path to the right. Yeah. You can have a path that's to the left, and you can have a neutral path. Now, guess which one's going to hit the golf ball straight? <laughs> it's the neutral path. I'll pick so that last one, please. If we can get the neutral path with a face that's square to that path when we strike the golf ball, providing we hit at the centre we are going to hit the golf ball about straight. Okay. All right, I think we need to analyze now, don't we? So we want you to actually take part in this. So next time you go to the driving range, we want you to film your golf swing, and we're gonna tell you now, really, what you should look for when analyzing your golf swing in order to hit the golf ball straighter. So look, when we, when we position the camera, piece, the position of the camera, if we're measuring the path, Fine. let's say, then, that is crucial. Yes. So we've got another camera set up here to show you how we would position it and then it's going to help you. So if I take my setup to the target here, now the way we want you to position the camera, we want the camera at hand height, yes, pointing straight down the hand line. Okay. So we don't want it up in the air at sort of eye height or mm -hmm. down the target line. We want it down behind the hand line at hand height. So it points and literally straight through the middle of the parallel hands. to the target line running as well. Exactly, yes. Okay. So this is really going to help us from a a plane perspective and we'll sort of talk about this in a little a little while as well so this really helps us analyze the plane now once we've got that in pierce mm. the first thing we check then is we have to check this first club face why why do we check the club face first? because the club face is main is the main responsible for again the start direction so we have to look at this first so look if we want to hit the golf ball straight we want to first of all let's say you're hitting the golf ball a little to the right then we want to look to see if there's any excessive rotation of the club face on the backswing. So you can see here the club face is sort of really rotated a lot there. We see more than that as well. We see them over there sometimes. Definitely, yeah. And then even to the top of the golf swing, we'll see the toe of the club hanging down very much at the top. So this is a club that wants to point to the right. So that's the first thing to check if you're hitting the golf ball to the right. If you're hitting it left, you want to see that the club isn't looking too much towards the ground mm -hmm. at this point and too much towards the sky at this point. So that's going to want to point the club face to the left at impact. So yeah. 
you know, those are the key things to check in your backswing pierce from a club, club face, face perspective. And I suppose the most important place is actually down here, isn't it? What we call parallel point three. So exactly. If the club face gets in when you're swinging down and it's very short. If you're about to hit the ball and it's pointing there, yeah. it's going left. And if it's there, it's going right. Okay, Definitely. Cool. So that's how you just really just check yeah. the club face first. Yeah. The next thing then is, as we mentioned, analysing what we call the plane. So if we get the, the plane line in, which we draw from the heel of the golf club underneath the trail arm, like so, this is going to give us a guide pierce. It's not exact, but it's a great guide to see. Now look, if we want to hit the ball straight, now we would like to see that the club swings very much close to that plane on the way back, but more importantly, the downswing, we want the club to pretty much swing as close to that plane as possible. Yeah. That's going to give us a great chance of hitting the golf ball about straight. So what we're saying is that we would the ideal scenario would be that you would have a launch monitor coupled with a video camera, but a launch monitor, we use TrackMan to actually show you what the club path is when you strike the golf ball. But you know, not many people are gonna go out and buy a TrackMan after watching this video. So we need to give you something that you can do on your phone. The plane is a very high influence on the club path, isn't it Andy? It is, yeah. Now, if you haven't even got tools on, the, on your, um, your phone, all you can really look for is to see is, if, is the club covering the hands at this point on the downswing. If your club is covering the hands at this point on the downswing and parallel to your target line, then you're pretty much on plane. Yeah. So there's a great guide of what it takes to hit the golf ball straight. Okay, so with that said then, we have a couple of swing faults that very much affect the swing plane, don't they? Yeah, definitely. So look, we're looking at the over the top and the, un the under the plane. Mm -hmm. So the over the top usually, okay, causes a path to the left. It's where the club swings over the top of the plane and then swings very much across the ball. Yeah. Now remember what this will do, it will impact the curve to the shot. So if you're swinging very much to the left, it's going to cause that ball to curve to the, uh, the right if that yeah. face is open to it. Now obviously the under the plane usually causes a path that's more to the right. Again, you can see the club head behind the hands at this point. The club will swing too much to the right. And generally we're gonna see either a push or a hook yeah. from there, but generally we're gonna see a curvature mainly that goes to the, to the left from that. And it's really interesting as well, because if you do actually get the path going one way and the face going, let's say if the path goes to the right and the face is right of that, then you really are in trouble. So it's, being, it's very important to be aware of these. Right, okay, look, great explanation. I think we need to fix these swing faults though, don't we? Yeah. Let's start with the over the top, Andy. This is a, probably the most common one of the two. So. The many questions we have on this oh, a lot. Hey, fix my over the top, please. Can you please fix it? There's a lot of people doing it, so let's help them. Okay, well look, I would say people pivot poorly. Okay, so we, if we can improve the pivot on the way back, yep. into transition as well, potentially, yes. then we can get the golf club coming a little closer to that plane line on the way down. So it is something we see, see a lot, Pierce, where just golfers aren't really winding up and creating yep. a good rotation into their trail side, and that really limits their ability to swing the golf club anywhere close to that plane. So what we're saying is by you pivoting better, you can get the club more around you on exactly. the way back. Yeah. Now, I suppose the key on the way down is they can pivot poorly on the way down as well. They can get very dominant with their upper body and spin their upper body exactly. on the way down, can't they? Exactly, so if I take the top swing, make a good pivot, I've made a good swing there, pretty close to plane. Now, if I sort of unwind a little early pierce, yeah. like so, there's the over the top move, club swings out in front and across the golf ball. So what we really want you to do is, we want an encourage to encourage you to wind up and create a better, rotation in the backswing into this trail hip but on the way down we're going to start with the lower body but keep that back towards the target for a little bit longer and as you can see I, as i do this the club wants to now move a little shallower and a little more from the yep. i suppose from the inside or closer to the plane line instead of this sort of move over the top and the chest opening too early so by turning your body more on the backswing and then delaying your body turn on the downswing we are saying that the club can get into a shallow position yeah. i love it okay and it right. will give us a path that's more to the right than where you were before which is the key perfect okay so we're going to talk about the path to the right and how we're going to measure that because we have got track man in this is what we want you to understand if the club path is traveling out to the right when he strikes the golf ball track man measures that as a plus in degrees if it's traveling to the left it's a minus okay so what i'm expecting you to do now no pressure i want a plus number on the club okay. path please what, what if it happens if we get zero uh, mm, yes, we don't want that. Mine's pretty close to zero. Get, it is, it's not you, far off. Yeah, as I say, yours is actually pretty close to that anyway. Okay, so let me get it lined up. Okay, we have the uh, alignment stick here as well in front of us to sort of give us an idea of start direction and really face. Nice. Hopefully starting it right of that. Okay, so good wind up and I'm delaying that upper body a little bit. Very nice. And there's a little draw. Very nice. Okay, now that is definitely more than you would normally have on a plus. So we have plus 4.7 
when you hit that golf ball. So plus 4.7 when you struck that golf ball, club head traveling out to the right. So that was Simple. me being under the plane, guys, yes. which I don't want, but if we're some, if you're over the top, you're certainly gonna feel that, which is if, good. If you're someone who swings over the top and you do that suddenly, you're gonna be the happiest person you've ever been. Okay, so now for the guy who's under the plane, somebody yes. who is getting the club too much behind him. Now, think about what we've just talked about, Pierce. Somebody who's over the plane, we want a better pivot. Yeah to allow for a path that's more to the right. We're gonna actually go a little bit opposite of that. We want to maybe restrict the, the pivot a bit with the hips. Potentially, yes. So turn a little bit less with the hips maybe, but on the way down now, now we really wanna feel as if we can get ourselves open. Okay, you can see my body now really unwinding early. This is gonna help get the path a little more to the left. So just describe what you mean by open. When you, okay, when, when I say open, body. you can see my hips and my chest now are turning earlier. So by the time I'm at impact, you can see how much the, the body's rotated Perfect. and cleared out the way, Pierce. And this is a great feeling for somebody who's under. It's not a great feeling for somebody <laughs> who's over. That's the last yeah. thing we want. And again, these feelings are really uh, to help complement and get us closer to a neutral path. Okay, let's see you do one then. So this is you feeling that you're going to rotate your body more. So on the way through. We're on the way through, this is, sorry. So we're expecting to see a minus number. I'm just going to rehearse that there. You can see how much I'm getting my body to open. I definitely want to see a path that's a little more left on this one, Pierce. Let's see you do it. Well, we've got a nice fade going out there. Huh, very the ball good. started left of the alignment stick and again. Beautiful. Okay, club path minus 5.6. So look, we can't stress how important this is. Please do not try and do what Andy did there if you're trying to stop slicing it. And conversely, don't go the other way around for the delaying of the body on the downswing and more turning on the backswing. So it's really important you, you have something now that you can practice, something very sort of real that you can go to the driving range, you can test to see which one you are, and then you can go straight into that feeling when you're hitting golf balls. Definitely. I think if you can understand what it takes to hit the golf ball straight, you know, if you can get the club closer to the plane line with a pretty good face, then you are going to play some consistent golf. You're going to start the golf ball around about the target line and hopefully hit the target a little more often as well, Pierce. Absolutely. Now that you're hitting the golf ball dead straight, you need to check out today's Just Gone Live, Me and My Golf Weekly, which is talking about the three power leaks in your golf swing. All you need to do is click that link in the corner and sign up for free at Me and My Golf. Yes, and also next month, the theme of January is all about golf fitness. So please leave any comments and questions down below and we'll choose some to answer for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.